Hey guys, it's your homeboy, the one and only Great Dane. So today I'm going to be making a video on my um, thoughts on the Brawl Pass so far after about a week of playing. So, after looking at the tiers for the Brawl Pass, I'm about 23 of 60 so far in the first week. So, the thing I've noticed that I think is really important and just, so... The Brawl Pass costs about 170 which is $10, right? But they took gems out of boxes. So you only get 90 gems every Brawl p Pass. But if you go to the shop, let's say you want the Brawl Pass every single time, right? You'd end up having to spend $5 every season. But I think the biggest problem, and I've seen this with all the... um. Brawl Stars YouTubers, because they spend money on the game and they already have everything unlocked. They have a ton of coins that they can't use on anything. So what I think this game needs the most right now is somewhere in the shop. And I think this is a very decent proposal. We need some kind of coin to gem conversion rate. So I was thinking after the coin packs, you could add a slot somewhere right in between, which would be... 500 coins for one gem I think is very reasonable because obviously I don't want the coin amount to be too low because we don't want to flood the market or anything. I think 500 coins because with the amount that thing skins and the pass itself costs is a very reasonable amount for any player who has extra coins. I would also like to mention that and then I think Kairos also mentioned this Okay, <laughs> uh, again, I, I, I hate to reject when I get requests from people, but I'm just so busy every every day of my life at this point, honestly. So I think what we need is a quest, maybe below the chat button, just a quest button, so you don't have to click through the brawl pass just to get to quests every time. Also. I can understand them giving like the forewarning on the quest, but it bothers me that they show this quest when you still have to wait like two days before you can even start trying to complete it. So I'd, I don't know if they're going to change that. Also, I think they updated the um, lobby recently. I think Brawl Stars always has good lobby music. And something I realized when playing with them, um, my... <laughs> I, I don't know if I could say we're friends, but he is a cool guy. Um, I think I've mentioned Hidden Master in my last video, so we were chatting together and I found out that you already have a brawl pin for every single brawler that you have unlocked. So, you they said that they're going to implement them into the game at some point. Hopefully if they do, they have a mute button so people can't kill you and then spam the laughing character emote. But, yeah, you, everyone has at least one pin at this point. Even if they just started the game, they have Shelly's pin. So, that's my opinion on that. So, guys, if, if you could do me a favor, put a like on this video. You don't need to subscribe unless you really do like my content. Look forward to more videos like this. And also ring the notification bell again if you want to see more videos like this. But if you could leave a like on this video, because I want Brawl Stars to see this. I want them to know that... If you're in favor of getting a coin to gem conversion rate, because I honestly think that's something they need in this game, even if it's, because, again, I'll go over it one more time. So, right now, 150 coins is 20 gems. And that's usually not something you're going to be buying, because, again, we're, the problem is that they have more coins than they can use, so we need something to spend those coins on. And since everything else costs gems, I think it's very reasonable that we trade a bigger amount of coins for a smaller amount of gems. So, if you agree with me on 500 coins for one gem, s just hit that like button so we can get Supercell on this, and hopefully they'll add it in a future update, or at least something close to that. I wouldn't even care if it was 1,000 gems. And, in fact, I'll leave a question in the iCard on if you agree with... 500 coins for one gem again this is something i think is just really important which is why i'm spending so much time on it so another thing i wanted to say um we have a we have a new club so hidden master created the dojo 
So far we have Matthew, 28YT, and Hidden Master in the club. I'll leave a link to both of their YouTube channels. They're both pretty uh, interesting content to watch if you're bored. And uh, yeah, we're looking for new members. If you do join, I can't promise I'll play with you, but um, I, th I think Hidden Master is on pretty frequently, so you can probably play with him. Because again, I do main solo showdown, and I'm usually pretty busy, so... If, if you do say something in the chat, though, there's a pretty good um, chance that me or Hidden will respond, though. So, if you're looking for a club to join in Brawl Stars, I, I definitely think the dojo is a good one to join. Active members. Also, you'll be part of a YouTube clan, and, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. So, you, maybe, maybe I can give you a shout-out or feature in a video in the future if you ask for it in either the comments or in our club chat. So again, hit the like button so Supercell can see this video on coin to gem conversion rates. And otherwise, I like that big game doesn't cost tickets anymore. And I like that we don't have the um, super tokens or whatever the... <laughs> um, yeah, because you, you know the, like the skull tokens or the main tokens that we're using in the Brawl Pass right now? We used to have the star tokens. I'm glad they got rid of those because there's less emphasis on maybe playing a mode you don't want to play. And, um, yeah, the, really the only problem I think we have so far is... And again, I this is really not a problem that I have, but if you have enough... Like, if you have really everything unlocked, you can't... Maybe, let's... Okay, let's say you buy the Brawl Pass and you gem through it. If you want to get Gale, you have to unlock everything else on the top row before you can get to him. And if you already have everything, you're just going to get more coins that you can't use. Which, again, is why I really think we need that coin to gem conversion rate. But again, I don't want to <laughs> waste too much time on this, because there really isn't too much to change. But other than... The quest tab and the coin and gem thing, I think, are the most important things. Also, um, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because I'm going to be releasing a special video for a special day for me tomorrow. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.